Tired of your horrible webcam quality, either in Teams, Zoom, Google Meet, or even on stream? Are people telling you that it looks like you're staring into the sun? Have you bought different webcams hoping to improve your quality or even considering buying an expensive camera to improve the quality for your meetings? Well, look no further. I found the solution and it's called a cell phone, just like this. Let's talk about how we can solve your problems with something that's probably already in your pocket and will completely change how your camera looks. This video is sponsored by Camo and their brand new update to Camo software, which is Camo 2, which allows you to connect your phone or at now any HDMI capture device that's connected to your computer into their program to do a whole mess of adjustments so that you can make your camera look the best it possibly can, whether it's for your stream, your chat, your meetings, everything, you're gonna look crisp, clear, and beautiful with the many options that you have. And just to prove, I own two cameras. This isn't any of those cameras. Here's the Sony ZV-1F, and uh, here's my Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma 16, and actually this is the Sigma 30. These aren't capturing this video, it is the uh, the camera right here. I'll show some B-roll and some footage so you can see I'm actually using my phone to capture this video and get this quality. So let me show you the program. Let me show you how it works. All of the cool stuff, we're talking about AR filters, Snapchat filters, everything included, overlays. We can do stabilization, it's so much. So let's jump straight in and let me just show you the software. So this is the Camo 2 software and there's a whole bunch of options. I've got a monitor over here so you guys can see what's happening and I can go back and forth, but we're gonna talk about all of the settings that are in here. Um, we're gonna start with connecting your phone. You can actually connect it wirelessly or with a cable. I do believe the cable is the best option. There's almost no latency. I really don't feel like there's any latency at all. It feels real time. So I would encourage you if you have the cable and are able to do it, do so. But if you want to do a moving thing, you can connect this wirelessly and use the camo software. To go ahead and download this, make sure you check the description. There's some download links and everything. You got to get it on your phone as well as on your computer or Mac. Anyway, all that's down there. Go check it. I'll leave some stuff for you to be able to find that. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, under device, this is where it's actually connected to my iPhone. This used to just be on their first software, which I covered a long time ago. You can watch that video. It was just connecting your phone. Now you can select any HDMI device, and so you can see I have a whole bunch here. But what we can do is we're just gonna leave it on iPhone and talk about all the settings that they have to offer. Right now I've got the back of the phone facing me. So I'm in like looking at the back three cameras and I have iPhone 12 Pro Max just for reference. We have the ultra wide lens. This is what I'm recording on. It looks, it looks fantastic. The wide lens, which is gonna get real close, um, which I think has the best quality, uh, so to say, but in, in some ways we, get, we just gotta adjust some of this stuff. So this is kind of like this really close lens, the wide, and then we can turn on the telephoto lens, which is gonna get really close and I'm not gonna back the camera all the way up. You get the point. It's a, this one's, oh my gosh, look how clear this is. My beard, bro, my beard. Um, but then you can also just use the selfie. So you can use the front. Now you're gonna get a shot of like my key light and some stuff, but anyway, uh, so you get the option of using any of the lenses that you have if you have camo pro Otherwise if you don't you're going to be using only uh, Just the one camera on the back, which would be your 1.0 camera All right, so on the left side We have a couple other things you can actually use the microphone on the camera You can also choose presets for color saturation buff Nerf this one kind of flattens out the profile all these things just adjust the color. It's just like filters nothing crazy uh, some of them are, are very unique, but I'm sure everyone's gonna find a use for these in some way. I'm gonna set it back to none. Then you also have overlays. These are things like this, where I can pop up and say, at Dark and Cyrus for YouTube. Let's say I'm in a Zoom meeting or I'm in some kind of a, a call and I want my socials to be on the screen. I can be able to adjust or, or customize these. I haven't adjusted all of these, but just a couple. You can see where they've had like their Twitter logo, this bottom piece. They've got a lot of these that are pre-built, but you can also create your own and edit any of these. So you can go in here and adjust these. I like having this down here at the bottom, just, just the YouTube thing. That's pretty cool. And it took me no time to adjust them. All you have to do is right click it, click modify, and then you can actually just type them in text. Really easy, real simple, nothing crazy. Next up is framing. This is exactly what you can kind of think. I can actually adjust the zoom and have it kind of grab me. 
And as I move around, it'll frame to me, which is really cool. And then there's one that'll actually grab based upon like size of head, whatever the case, which is really nice. And it does well tracking. Like I can get really close. It does really nice and it tries to keep it about the same size. This is good if you wanted to be more interactive and use that widescreen. This is a really good way to be able to do that. You can also drag to zoom. So you can actually do this and just move around. Ooh, sorry if that gave you seasickness. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, you can also flip the camera if you wanted to. And then there's also the stabilization. So I just click this button. And now if I move my camera, I mean, I'm bouncing it pretty good. Sorry, I'm not trying to give you seasickness, but um, it stabilizes it. And that was with it on. Here's it off. Big shakes back and forth. Sorry, I'm not trying to give you motion sickness. Here's it with it on, shaking it. You can see it's it's kind of adjusting the image to do that. Up on the right side, we have all the image enhancements. Now, my son and I played with this. I'm gonna put a clip up on the screen. We were playing with all of these in the green screen and adjustments, and he had the time of his life just loving all of this. But honestly, there's some really cool features here mode honestly they've got the basic ones which is like somewhat blur the background you can adjust the intensity on that uh, and then obviously we've got green screen and so this is a really good option if you want to pop it into a platform and use green screen all right the one i like though is the spotlight if we click this on and we turn this up it pushes the speaker out into the forefront right so I found a really good like middle ways here. It's about 15 to 20%. I'm gonna turn it on 15 and you can see it brightens me up, darkens the background. I'll turn it off, turn it on. It's just, a, it's just enough to make you pop out of the background. I like it and I can turn it up. You maybe let's go, like go 30. You can see where it starts to separate, but now you're getting some of the stuff on the mic arm. You can see the difference. It's really cool if you don't have a big key light be able to light you this is a really nice way to do that we also have filters here that are not considered presets so we can do things like pop which i really like by the way i like the what this does to the room you also have ar so this is stuff like mute background it chroma keys or like blacks the background really neat uh we've got other stuff like emoji face it does really cool i'm smiling right now it kind of follows what you're doing. You can't obviously see what my face is doing, but I'm actually winking right now and it's going in between. All right, um, emoji hands, face follow. <laughs> Feel stupid. Then there's one that's invisible, which I think is so cool that it just kind of blends everything. Whoa. But anyway, it's not always perfect, but it's really cool. Sketch, this one's unique. I think you could really do some, do some cool stuff with this. And then big head. I mean, it's these things are so cool. I'm going to turn all these off. And then obviously, if you have your phone connected, you get every bit of adjustment that you want. Exposure, shutter speed, ISO. If you don't know what those are, just turn this off and let it do its auto thing. It'll figure it out for you. But if you do know what all of these are and you want to do some adjustments to shutter speed and your ISO, you can adjust that. But then you also get white balance. You can adjust your temperature. You can, If you want it warmer or cooler, you can adjust that, your tint. But you also get flash level like this is actually going to be the flash on my phone. You can see if I do this, let me turn off my key light. All right. So key light is off. Like this is me turning on the flash on my phone. <laughs> it's not the greatest. It's an option. And, and in this case, it's kind of acting like a fill light, like it's filling in the side of my face. But then you have brightness, hue, saturation, vibrance, things like this. Like I like to have a little bit of vibrance pushed. So here's me actually pulling it up into Zoom, into Google Meets, into uh, OBS so that you can see it. you just grab the camo video. That's actually what it is. And again, this works with anything. So like here's a webcam, right? You could you you could put the webcam in and be able to make all the adjustments with this webcam as well. And I'll go ahead and show right here. I've actually gone ahead and connect this camera, which is the Sony ZV-1F. And so it's actually working through here. I'm able to make adjustments. I'm able to do all of the filters. I can't do the AR stuff. It won't work over any other video source except for your phone, but you can make all of your adjustments, overlays, brightness, saturation. You can do the blur background, the green screen. All of that can be on any video source, not just your phone, which is different than where Camo was with Camo 1. So Camo 2, this is really impressive. And honestly, the latency is so low that I really think 
I'm going to be using this as like a C cam option or B cam option when I have someone in here for a podcast, because I could set up two cameras and maybe a third, which would be this to be able to capture and switch in between angles. And all I had to do is download some software, connect my charging cable to my computer. And I have this usability. It's amazing. So here's my, here's my MacBook, and I've used this on the MacBook as well. And it works great. Continuity camera even works through camo. So if you need to use it, this is a really good option. Just carry your cable with you. You got a meeting, pop this out, maybe have a little tripod. And this is what you're going to be able to have this kind of quality from your phone. This program does have a free option as well as the paid option to unlock everything I showed you today. The free option gets you to where you can connect your phone to your computer. So go test it, see if you like it, and then jump into it. With everything on the market offering something like this, this is offering the best control, the best options, and honestly, you can be able to connect any HDMI device inside this platform and still get all these overlays and all, all this stuff. Yeah, just it's a no brainer, guys. So instead of considering to go grab a DSLR or, an, or a mirrorless camera to upgrade your camera setup, try your phone first. It's a free option and you can choose to upgrade if you want all of the adjustments that you've seen today. And also hit this video with a thumbs up and like it because I would love for this video to just completely flourish so people can find an option that's not just spending hundreds of dollars on a brand new camera when you can use your phone or if you have this, you can use this in that program as well. So yeah, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Goodbye, you sexy people. Thanks.